In a previous video, I took a look at a KVM extender from Keenan, and in that video, I mentioned that the best use case for something like that is this traditional workstation usage, if you say, or like remote administration type work, if you want to have your PC separate from your display and mouse and keyboard for whatever reason. And it's not really intended or designed for gaming purposes, even though it does support 4K, it's only at 30 hertz. And so you wouldn't have high refresh rates and frame rates that you might want if you want really smooth gameplay. And also there's a little bit of latency involved. It's, it's better than most IP KVMs, but there still is a tiny bit of latency that you might not want to have one frame dropped every you know, 30 or 60 frames, right? So it, there, it's not perfect for that kind of scenario, but for workstation usage, you're probably not going to notice that little bit of latency. But in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at a KVM from TestSmart, and it is a traditional KVM, and it can be used for gaming because this is a much higher end KVM than like your run-of-the-mill basic KVM that you might see on Amazon or wherever. So the model number for this KVM is HDK203-M24-USBK. So this KVM supports three monitors on two devices and it can do up to 8K resolution at 60 hertz on all three displays or at 4K, it can do 144 hertz. So that's great for gamers who wanna do gaming up to 144 hertz because I know some people love the game at that refresh rate to get 144 frames buttery smooth without any screen tearing. And this KVM also supports the various features of displays such as G-Sync, FreeSync, and it has HDR support and all those types of things that you might want for gaming and uh, perhaps even just watching videos as well. If your screen supports HDR and you have you know HDR videos. On the front of the KVM has a nice brush panel with some RGB lighting and it has four USB ports. Two of them are labeled for mouse and keyboard and two of them are labeled as five gigabit ports that are basically USB 3.0 ports. So you can get take advantage of some of those higher speed USB ports between your two devices, which is great. In the back of the KVM, it has two display ports and one HDMI for both of the PCs and it has interestingly three HDMI outputs so it converts the display ports of the inputs to HDMI on the output side so uh, you're not going to be connecting display port from the KVM to your monitors but only display port from your devices to the KVM and on the back it has an Ethernet jack which means you can share a one gigabit connection between your two systems so when you switch back and forth you can just share one. So that works out pretty well if you only have, say, one Ethernet port at your desk and you don't want to run another cable or whatever. You can just use one cable. I think it's interesting they have that option. This KVM has EDID emulation, which means when you switch back and forth between the two systems, your screen doesn't jump around all over the place. And I noticed that that worked pretty well as long as I had both systems connected to three monitors. So I, I temporarily had to wait until I got an adapter to connect to my mini PC because it has two HDMI ports and one display port. So I needed an HDMI to display port adapter. One thing I noticed about this KVM is that it has fans and the fans are actually kind of noisy. It doesn't, they don't run for very long because the KVM does get a little bit warm. I imagine it would be get, get warmer if you're probably pushing it to its limits, maybe using higher refresh rates, higher resolutions and that kind of thing, perhaps pushing more data through it. It's up to 48 gigabits per second or something like that. That's what it says it can push through all of the interfaces. And so it does need a little bit of cooling in there. But the good thing is you can turn the fan speed down to like low or even off. So I tried turning it off because I don't want that fan kick on when I'm recording videos such as this because that'd just be annoying. Uh, but I, when I touch the KVM, since I'm not pushing it to its limits and it's just under my desk and on my desk here and my office is relatively cool in here, it doesn't seem to feel like it overheats. It does get slightly warm, but not too bad. So I think I would be fine without the fan. So that's something that you could play around with and test it out. But there is uh, some shortcut keys for that. The KVM also has like a loud beep sound. If you are switching between different devices, you can turn off that beep, which is nice. So you can make it silent, which that's what I prefer when I'm switching back and forth. And it has a remote control that you can use to switch between the devices as well. So you don't have to push the button on the front, which is great. So if your KVM is not quite in, in arm's reach, you can just use the remote control and that would work out pretty well there's a button on the remote control it's kind of like almost like a refresh icon and that turns the beep sound on and off so that's an easy way you can turn that sound on and off and this kvm supports keyboard shortcuts which is great if you want to switch between devices you can use your keyboard shortcuts and this keyboard shortcuts are also used to turn on and off the, the sound and to control the fan volumes and that sort of thing 
The KVM comes with a remote control, a power cord, some rubber feet, and all the cables you need to connect both PCs to the KVM. You'll need to provide your own HDMI cables to connect the monitors. One common use case for this KVM is to connect a gaming PC and a standard workstation PC or laptop to the KVM so that you can switch back and forth between gaming and your work machine. On the back of the KVM, you can connect the PCs with the provided cables. To keep things more organized, I use some Velcro straps because there's a lot of cables when you have triple monitors. Then I plug three HDMI cables into all three of my displays. Since my mini PC only has one display port, I try to use this adapter, but it only goes one direction. So I got a different adapter to connect the display port, and it has an HDMI and a USB cable attached so that it can replicate the functionality of display port. So here's the adapter connected to the HDMI port of the PC, and it's connected to the display port cable, which is connected to the KVM. So instead of your desk being cluttered with an extra mouse and keyboard for a second system, you can have a nice clean desktop with the KVM and connect it to both systems at the same time. And if you're a gamer and you need to have a separate workstation in, in addition to your gaming PC, it's nice that you don't have to sacrifice performance to be able to use both at your desk. If you're interested in this product, I have a coupon code that TestSmart sent me that is good for so long after this video is released. And I also have an affiliate link if that coupon and code is expired and you want to support my work on this channel, um, I would appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm Dustin Casto, signing out.